All right, we're going to be looking at how to color code our writing when we are using wraps to help us write. So here I have an example of a question and a response to that question. The question says, readers sometimes meet literary characters that they do not like and they would not want to have as friends in real life. Choose a literary character that you wouldn't like to be friends with and explain why using text evidence. So we're going to use some of the words from the question in our topic statement. Notice down here, I have the written response from um, this question. And at the beginning, we have the topic statement. We're going to look at how some of the words in this topic statement are from the question. It says some characters from literature, so we see right there characters that are from literature, are unpleasant, another way of saying that we do not want to be friends with them, that readers would not want to become friendly with them in real life. Again, using, we see some of the words from the question in our topic statement. Your topic statement is going to be colored green to show that that is the start of your writing. Green meaning go, so that's the start of my writing. Then you're going to go ahead and move on into answering the question and providing evidence. Notice here that it begins by listing one character that would not make a good friend would be Templeton the Rat from Charlotte's Web. This here is simply answering the question. We've not given text evidence, we've just answered the question. Since we are answering the question, that's going to be colored yellow. So that yellow represents that we've answered the question. As we continue reading, it says, Templeton shows he is mean when he bites Wilbur the pig's tail very hard. Then he is happy when Wilbur feels pain. He also calls Wilbur stupid and threatens to eat his food. All of this actually comes from the text. So when it comes from the text, it will be colored blue. Notice that blue and yellow make green. So your blue and your yellow should match what you have at the top in your topic statement. And then we close off our writing by again restating that question one more time but in a different way. That is why Templeton is one literary character who is so mean that he would not make my friends list. Again, using words that are from up here like friends and um, someone that you would not like. Again, we said down here mean, which is the same type of um, thought. And this will also be green to match our topic statement. So you almost have a sandwich with green on top, green on bottom, and then blue and yellow in the middle. So if you want, take some time to color code your writing to see if you have included enough yellow, enough blue, and if you have your green on top and your green on bottom.